week four of April 2023 and still not finished. There's going to be a part two. I'm telling you, April of 2023 was the best month ever in my uh, diecast collecting history. Uh, luckily, I did not find much in uh, March and in May of 2023. So that kind of evens it out. So I uh, mentioned in a, a video some time ago that I got a uh, Easter discount on the Shuko website and I uh, it was 20% 20, 20 off and I uh, had uh, time to spend it until the end of June of 2023. Um, so I decided uh, since I know that there's going to be a price raise of three euro on the Shuko stuff uh, somewhere uh, later this year, I decided the moment there was uh, enough new stuff on the website uh, for me to get free shipping, that I was going to um, use that code. And here's the stuff that I got. So first up, let's start with the big one. This is the Rentransporter in the Porsche Golf livery. So you can see the original price and what I ended up paying with the 20% off. So these have uh, these are the uh, kind of paper box edition ones uh, that come in a uh, completely cardboard packaging that has a, a sleeve and then there's uh, another box underneath. Uh, so let's uh, open this up. So this is not an original livery of this uh, rig. Um, this um, was pur purchased by this company, uh, JW Automotive Engineering Limited. Uh, they bought an old rundown uh, version of this truck and then they uh, restored it and gave it this uh, nice livery. So we got a plastic base, of course rubber tires and authentic rims, got the orange hubcaps in the middle, center caps, that's cool. Body is all metal, got lens headlights obviously, and a uh, sweet looking interior. Very basic, obviously, for those days. These are pretty old. And then uh, these doors in the back open up. Let's grab my thingy, because uh, it's not going to be easy. There's a little notch here that I can put my uh, little thingy in there. Um, a little pick. Um, but that's not working. Let's try the top. Yeah, that's going to be difficult. Jeez. That's going to be difficult. Let's see if we can slide it in here. Nope. Hmm. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't think I will be able to, uh, to show you this. I've shown it on the previous videos I did on the the two previous ones I got. So uh, maybe I'll link that video at the end of this video so you can check that out. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to open this up, unfortunately. Oh well. Moving on, because we got a lot of stuff to look at. So uh, I don't want this video to be two hours long. Here we got the uh, Volkswagen T1 mit Anhänger und Volkswagen Käfer Lowrider. So apparently they don't have a German word for a lowrider. Everything else is in German. And here again, so they could have put uh, one uh, text in English and one in German, but they decided not to. Um, anyways, um, so new casting is this uh, trailer. You can buy this separately too uh, if you want, but uh, yeah. I'm not going to do that. Um, so the trailer and the T1 are screwed to the base, and then the kind of well, racing beetle is what it is. It's not a licensed Herbie, 
but it looks like a Herbie, uh, but it's definitely not nice licensed. It's sitting on there in a kind of a plastic tray or um, yeah, and then the uh, an inner piece that's holding them down, and there's even some protection for the roofs there. Uh, so that's cool. That's nice that they uh, do the trouble of uh, avoiding these to get packaging rub and stuff like that because that's annoying. So this, uh, when I ordered this at that time, this was pretty new. Uh, just uh, arrived on the website. Website. Let's take the, uh, the racing wheel off. As you see, that's the, uh, the inner. Let's put all that stuff aside because there's going to be a lot of boxes here on the table. So I have to do some uh, uh, space management. Otherwise, I won't get everything on the table. Let's. Uh, I hope we can get this off because these shukos are known to be very hard to take off. And there's even two on the trailer, annoyingly. Okay, this one's fine. Bad as a not as bad as on the vehicles, it seems. Okie dokie, there you go. This old side, so let's uh, start with the Volkswagen Type 2 T1 VW T1 bus. Cool livery, air cooled boxer service, white, gray, and orange. And obviously, it has the huge trailer hitch, painted details in the back, and lensed and lights in the front. Metal on metal, uh, all the vehicles, Shuko uh, R, except for the, uh, the big rigs. So here's that new casting 164 auto anhanger car trailer China cool wheels these are uh, huge dog dish wheels painted details for the lights and the reflectors in the back even the license plate lights are done some black paint in the middle here there's even a, a red dot on the, the thing in the front. It's all metal. Well, except for this plastic piece that's holding the wheels. I think that's, yeah, that's definitely plastic. The rest of it is metal. And some reflectors here on the side in orange. So put that on there. I'll give you a look of the parking lot at the end as usual. VW Kifa. VW Beetle. So this uh, they did a regular version of the Herbie style Beetle, but this is the lowrider version, obviously. With kind of the Fuchs-like uh, wheels. And then slides front and rear. It's got the soft canvas top, mimicked by some paint. Cool. Unimark U406 So everything you see here on the table was within my uh, 10 euro price limit except for these uh, bigger ones the the rig and uh, the set of course with the trailer that's obviously going to be more than that
So we see a rubber band on this one. I can't remember if the previous Unimogs I bought came with that rubber band. So again, it's got the name of the vehicle on the base there. It's got this little uh, exhaust in plastic that uh, is very fragile. It's a nice uh, exhaust detail there. Of course, we're going to take the rubber band off because, you know, who knows, that might ruin some paint in the future. Who knows? So, I don't know even if this comes off. Yeah, it does. Now you see an old metal bed. Lots of details on the uh, canopy also, paint-wise. Those huge rubber tires and red steelies. And a spare tire wedged between the, the chassis and the bed and the cabin. bit of silver paint there on the mirror and headlights. Uh, it's got a little bit of a blemish here it seems on the on the hood or bonnet. Maybe it's some excess silver paint from the the grill and the model name there. Not sure. It's got the lens lights front and back also. Some silver for the gas cap tiny tail lights there and uh, which seem to have different colors orange red and clear Let's put this one right there <clears throat> then we got the Volkswagen Caddy the stock version so previously I got the custom version in the kind of a gunmetal gray and this is just bone stock with the, uh, the basic white hue this also has the trailer hitch so we can uh, hook the trailer up on that one too. Again we got the uh, silver exhaust piece there. So just bone stock rims. This one does not get the silver on the mirror. Cast in mirrors they're not that detailed as with a uh, Mini GT for instance. Tiny lensed headlights. Bumpers are molded into the casting too. Uh, we get some different colors here on the taillight again. Orange on the top, red in the middle and the clear in the, on the bottom. Volkswagen on the tailgate, all metal bed of course. Although the, um, the front part of the bed is a plastic part of the interior. Kind of a bummer. Let's just hook up the trailer just to see what it looks like. Yeah, that kind of works too. Oh, it comes off. Yeah, like that. It stays put. Maybe if I put the uh, Herbie a little bit more to the front, then there's more weight on the, uh, the hitch. Yeah, not bad looking either, but the other one, of course, slightly better. And then we got the Porsche 356 Carrera 2. Let's see the uh, Porsche licensing sticker. Ski Urlaub, Ski Holiday in German. So this is my first example I have of this uh, version with the, the skis on the back. I didn't buy the previous one even though I was able to buy it for less than 10 euro because um, well if I put it in my display cabinet I like to dust off my cars in my display cabinet like once a year but there's not a lot of dust that gets on there you know the display cabinet is sealed with uh, rubber uh, 
uh, you know, all around. But um, hey, look at that. That's ripped. Hmm, that's strange. From the factory. Um, and I'm afraid that if I wipe this down, that the skis will break off. But, uh, you know, I decided to get it anyway. And I'm just going to not put it in the display cabinet and have it in the box. So at least I have it. Because, you know, I try to collect all Shuko releases within my budget. And, uh, yeah, so why not grab this one again? Nice exhaust detail. Got the brown skis on the back there and this little luggage rack. Got some grill detail underneath there. A nice tan interior. It's nice to see uh, a light interior for a change. It's got uh, painted tail lights and then uh, lens lights in the front. Yeah. It's a beauty for sure. And then I got an email from uh, Tom's, Tom's Model Autos, which uh, they send out a, a mailing every day. Uh, I always watch it, even though I keep an eye on the on their website too, on a daily basis. But sometimes, every now and then, it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes there, there's something in there that, did, uh, that I did not catch on their website. And um, that was the fact that these BM Creations were all uh, priced down on sale and most of them were within my 10 euro budget uh, i believe only the um, first uh, lancer evo was a little bit more was like 12 and a half euro which is you know, still affordable but you know i stick to my budget so but uh, yeah most of the other ones that were on sale i was uh, able to get so i made a list of uh, i will uh, Point you guys up a little bit so you can see a little bit more of what um, what it looks like the whole stack. So I made a list of every single model uh, they had on sale and then uh, every single color and then I just made a choice. I got uh, one color of each model except for the uh, Subaru wagon. I got all the colors. Um, the Mitsubishi wagon. Um, there was only white, black, and red, so I only got the red one, obviously. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, just one example of each model. So, point you guys down again. And um, let's uh, continue with some Euro stuff. Uh, so, the um, BM Creations has the uh, Land Rover license, um, which is great. Because, uh, well, Shuko has it too. And uh, I think uh, Mini GT and Tarmac also. Well, there's quite a few that have it, but still, I don't have a lot of, uh, a huge amount of Land Rovers in my collection. So, this is the Land Rover 2016 Defender 110 pickup in green, right hand drive. This is in the vintage series. Some of the other boxes you will see a uh, picture uh, on there, but not on this one. So, um, most of these come with accessories. Uh, I'm not going to spend uh, time on the accessories. Uh, that's going to make this video hours long and that's, uh, that's not time that, uh, that I have and uh, that uh, you probably don't have either. Uh, I like all the stock versions of these. Yeah, that's what I prefer. But I like the brand for doing the, um, the accessories and, and making it possible for someone who does uh, like their cars not as stock to uh, to kind of customize them so we got some different uh, wheels in there uh, and some uh, other stuff i don't know stickers and uh, whatnot So let's see. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on on this one. Got a model name on the base, that is cool. We also have a, 
separate exhaust piece just like the Shuka ones that's awesome uh, plastic base that's fine I'm okay with that um, of course uh, we've got uh, rubber tires we've got authentic looking rims um, we've got some kind of suspension uh, you can see here if I press this there's a little bit of movement um, should also be in the front but it's not that visible because these arms these plastic suspension arms are a little bit shorter I think it's cool that these are rubber mud flaps that also have the Land Rover logo on there look at that that is awesome um, some of these will have opening parts and others won't this one has uh, uh, quite a few opening parts the, the tailgate drops it does have uh, well I was going to say it has a plastic bed but it kind of feels plastic but maybe it's just metal that is uh, painted flat black I'm not sure um, we got painted details on the back we got lens lights in the front with some painted details um, the doors open up too uh, so definitely there's a lot going on with these tire is a little bit off yeah that's better um, you can pull the mirrors to open up the doors because they are cast into the the metal door some silver on the mirror but uh, the upper part of the door is completely plastic uh, and it's part of the the door cart I guess or the door card is yeah I think it's part of the door cart and the door cart is then painted flat black on the bottom part to mimic the uh, the door card and um, what that does is the um, the green around the window is not really matching the green of the the vehicle if you see the this is metal around the window and the back door that does not open it's uh, yeah it's clearly different looking um, yeah it's a solution to a problem but I'm not so keen on that I I would just wish they would not do opening parts honestly uh, and just uh, yeah just have them not open up and then they could put a little bit more uh, realism on the on the door here or achieve a little bit more realism um, but of course for the money I paid for all the features it's have uh, this is absolutely a steal uh, there's no denying that um, yeah. so I'm not going to force this some open easier than others I guess at the running boards and stuff yeah it's a really cool one love it and then here we got the uh, Land Rover Discovery 1 let's see what it says the 1998 green right hand drive you see vintage here has got uh, I believe what is an uh, American ad advertising for the discovery it's the four-wheeler of the year in some places is the only vehicle of the year not sure what they mean by that anyway most of these boxes are very similar there's you know tiny differences uh, did I open it on the wrong side or what seems like I can't get it out on that side or am I just being uh, stupid again no, no, no. I don't know here we got uh, even comes with a, a barrel in this one look at that so for uh, you diorama guys this is a dream come true right yeah it's got a barrel and extra wheels and all kinds of stuff sorry no time for that so I, again I chose a green one I wanted to to have all my uh, Land Rovers in green but uh, as you can see in the next one you will see in the next one that did not work out 
again exhaust detail uh, suspension again not much you know don't see a lot of difference there's a huge gap between the wheels and the, the wheel arches uh, it's not that attractive looking you can see right through it so they could have done a better job on that uh, but nice rims authentic rims of course and nice uh, headlights with the orange uh, yeah all very nicely done these alpine windows a little bit crooked spare tire with a cover on there um, also lensed tail lights that have, have all the different colors that is sweet let's see if we can open the steering wheel side yeah you can see a little bit more of the detail of course a uh, proper authentic looking steering wheel and nicely detailed dashboard there's no different colors in there um, just all black but that's fine you know I mean this this price point um, that is perfectly fine Got a little bit extra pieces here for these uh, roof rails and uh, this um, Alpine window is done better in my opinion yeah awesome Except for the stands, uh, this is a perfect model to me. And the uh, yeah, the door frame, it's not that obvious on this one because it just has a window with no frame or hardly any frame, just a little black line, uh, which yeah makes it look much better than the uh, the Defender. And then we got the uh, Land Rover. Uh, 1992 Range Rover Classic LSE in red, left-hand drive. So right-hand drive was sold out. And also got the uh, green, a, a green version of this. Uh, but when they shipped it to me, um, I got a note inside the box that said that the green one was sold out, even though it was still available on the website. So uh, I fear there's some theft going on in the uh, Tom's warehouse, unfortunately. Um, I don't know why you would steal from your employer, but anyway, um, I definitely would not do that. Introducing the most beautiful vehicle in the world. Okay, I think that's a little bit exaggerated, but it's definitely a, a cool one. Okay, maybe I open this side up again. Otherwise I get confused, thinking I will not be able to open it on that side which I'm sure it is possible so yeah I couldn't choose between the red and the green so I got I wanted to get both of them but I only ended up with the, the red one which is fine some other wheels in there and some other stuff Again, got the name on there, got some a hint of an exhaust, but uh, yeah, not as detailed as on the other ones. I love these uh, rims, they are painted gray also, that is cool. Again, there's a, oh, there's a lot more suspension on these. Um, you know what, maybe with these screws you can uh, adjust the hardness of the suspension, would that be possible? Or is that just the way these uh, are attached? I'm not sure, but this definitely uh, has a lot more uh, suspension i think these were air ride also air suspension so you could lower these like that it looks yeah very good got the lens tail lights hey does that thing open up no i thought this window might open up but i don't see any hinges inside so I'm not going to try to open it up because it's probably going to break it. Again, different uh, colors in the tail lights. Um, these are hard mud flaps. Unfortunately, it would have been cool to have the soft ones like the Defender has. Um, it doesn't say the Land Rover on there, but you know it's a Range Rover. Doesn't really need to. I always find it strange that they call it Land Rover Range Rover. But you know, I think it does have. Does it have the Land Rover badge on there? Is that the Land Rover badge here, above my thumb, or not? 
possibly. Mm, we got four lensed pieces, or is it six? Yeah, six lensed pieces in the front. Look at that. So the uh, indicator light and the small lights on the side, then the round headlights, and then the fog lights are also lensed. Wow, look at that. That's a lot of bang for your buck, man. That is insane. I love the door handles with the silver and the black. Flat black here around the windows. Yeah, this is a beauty. Oh yeah, so this is a left-hand drive version, obviously. Again, little black line around the windows makes it look uh, much better. So these models work much better for the way they they make these, and the door sits pretty flush, you know, there's not too huge a gap. I mean, a little bit more in the front here than in the rear. Uh, again, I would prefer them without uh, opening doors, but on the Discovery and the uh, Range Rover, uh, they definitely look pretty good. It's got the sunroof on there. Awesome. Yeah, this turned out really nice. Uh, let's continue with uh, but the rest of them are all Japanese vehicles. Um, the Suzuki Jimny GB or JB 74 2019 Toy Soul Show Edition and the Japanese police livery. Uh, I kind of have a, a small Japanese police collection. And uh, yeah, definitely wanted to get this one. I'm glad we don't have to unscrew all of these from uh, a base and that they are just in a uh, plastic inner. That is, uh, makes it much more easy to do videos. Get some extra wheels, that's all. Nothing else. Oh, that's fine. Don't care for that anyway. Okay, look at that. A white painted base. Is that... Yeah, it's still plastic though, uh, so I don't know why they wanted to paint that white. That's an extra cost that is not necessary for me, but again, I don't mind it either. Um, oh yeah, even this has a little bit of suspension. A little bit more in the front than in the rear seems, but yeah. Nice looking rims again. The spare wheel with the cover. Lens tail lights, three colors again. Cool uh, Japanese license plate. The uh, defroster lines in the rear are too visible, but they're not as big as you see on some of the, uh, the Mini GTs. Little plastic antenna, not as flexible as I thought it would be. Got the light bar on top. It's a little bit crooked, that's okay. And then the searchlight. Um, cost and mirrors again to open the doors. It just probably says police in Japanese. Lens headlights and lots of details in the front. Around the windscreen, windshield. Let's see, can we open up this one? No. Can we open up this one? No. None of these will... Oh, there we go. Uh, actually, this one has some uh, fabric on the seats painted. Look at that. I was not expecting that. Well, now I want to open the, the other side. There we go. Mm, look at that. I mean, even more bang for your buck. So what they are, were thinking probably was, was, oh, it's a small vehicle. There's not a lot of metal on there. So let's give them something extra. Uh, there's even some stickers on the dashboard. For the um, the sat nav or the uh, the uh, police uh, system screen, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of hard to show. Maybe if I add a, some, a little bit of light, would that be more clear to you? No, it's going to be too much probably. I hope you can uh, see some of it at least. Yeah, that's awesome. Again, a lot of bang for your buck on these. Well, 
at least for the price I paid. Um, I must say the white kind of matches pretty good with the with the body on the on the plastic window piece. And flat black door cards. Yeah. I must say they do a pretty good job. Uh, definitely. Looks uh, cute and tiny next to the range, of course, and it should be. But this one's even tinier. This is the Suzuki, Suzuki Cappuccino in red, left-hand drive. Uh, I sat in one of these ones at an auto show. Yeah, it was short and small, definitely. But it's cute as a button. some stuff falling out here in the back oh look there's a roof piece huh that's interesting okay maybe we can take a look at that uh, so there's another set of wheels on there to customize this custom wheels not the standard ones and they kind of bolt on there with the uh, with the screw um, this might have turning wheels whereas uh, uh, these that have the suspension don't have the turning wheels. So put that away. And then I'm just going to take a look at this roof piece because I'm kind of curious about that. Well, first we're going to take a look at the car, but then I'm going to try to put that on anyways. That's interesting. All right, so plastic base, of course, as they all have. A little exhaust detail there, it sticks out underneath the bumper. Uh, lens tail lights, even though they are so tiny, with two colors in there, and then there's a separate lens piece down here. Look at that. That's awesome. Right there. For the reverse light. That's sweet. Uh, again, we get an interior with the uh, instrument cluster, detailed, cappuccino name on the dashboard. Nice. Nice. A little bit of silver even in the mirrors, even though they are so tiny. Uh, the mirrors are more detailed because they are a separate piece, whereas on the uh, the opening door ones they have to mold them into the body so they're a little bit more crude but still okay looking uh, lens headlights the uh, lights in the bumper are painted that's fine nice grill detail kind of a mesh grill uh, rims are rather big for such a small vehicle uh, i'm not sure if they were like that back then but uh, it's definitely good looking i must say okay let's see um the roof piece so this is the rear window piece. Um, I think I have to take off this cover. Oh, if it's going to get too fiddly, I'm going to start uh, shaking and, and I'm going to just abort the mission. Let's see with my thingy here, if I can, yeah, lift that off and then put that in there and these, uh, with these pins like that. Then like this, we have a target version. I guess that's not how the real one came as a targer with a roof piece on there. I guess it came as a uh, just a soft top convertible that you could manually fold down. And then we got uh, this piece that goes over there. Look at that. And then we got the top up. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Uh, wheels turn. Uh, I did not uh, show you that here underneath, but. Well, at least one is turning. <laughs> this one, the bottom one, uh, is probably screwed on too tight and it's it doesn't want to budge. Uh, it, does, it does roll though, but it does not want to turn. This one does turn, but uh, the problem with these... Um, well, 
it's not turning very much but a little bit the problem with these is that um, the, the the wheel turning system is not that good as on other brands because they kind of make it look weird the the wheels when turned one side to the other they go too far into the wheel well and away from the other side so it does look doesn't look that uh, natural it doesn't stay in the middle when turned that's kind of basically what I'm, I'm trying to say uh, these are definitely screwed on too hard and uh, they won't turn oh well let's put this in the handicapped spot because of the uh, the locked up wheels next up the Suzuki Jimny SJ413 in blue right hand drive I think these are all still available at Tom's uh, they must have gotten a bunch of those that's why they can sell them for a very affordable price and uh, you know I would say take advantage of that I certainly did okay so this comes with some kind of uh, a roof rack and other wheels yeah I'm not going to bother with that I just like it the way it is like this I think the roof comes off too we'll see uh, again uh, this one uh, being an off-roader has a little bit of suspension a lot of suspension travel uh, I like the white rims it uh, matches the white deco and the white uh, soft top again nice exhaust detail painted taillight so not a lens on this one uh, no cover on the spare wheel but this you know was kind of a basic off-roader I uh, got some plastic side mirrors as they were back then so much more detailed than if the doors, doors would have opened yeah nicely done the front too oh wait a minute does this uh this hood open up or is that just done for uh yeah to be able to put different hoods on there i think it is it's uh it's not opening i think and then this i think comes off no, not really it's glued in the front so uh, I'm going to leave it down there uh, you can see uh, something written on the steering wheel I don't think it says Suzuki but not sure what it says it does have the instrument cluster again detailed that's awesome yeah again a lot of bang for your buck sweet second to last Suzuki the Jimny JB 43 in red right hand drive so a, a newer version of the Jimny although I think this was called Samurai in Europe if I'm not mistaken lots of loose parts or accessories rolling around in this one so we're going to have to be careful not to uh, Not to have these all end up on the table here because so we got a different front bumper it seems with a winch and stuff a different rear bumper probably a roof rack that uh, probably just uh, just lays on top of there yeah, kind of cool and spare tires to put on the, uh, the roof rack again exhaust detail we got a little bit of a, a notch there for the exhaust this one does get the lens tail lights while the, uh, the older did not get that even though they're maybe even bigger the older tail lights than the, the newer ones so I don't know why they decide to do that but anyway um, yeah nicely detailed tail lights lens of course uh, again no cover on the spare wheel but nice looking rims 
I like those. These uh, defroster lines are too thick in my opinion. Little hint of a roof rail on there. Again, color matching of the red is pretty good on this. Nice front end, look at that. Wow. That's very nicely done. I like that a lot. Got the indicators behind uh, the lens light and the uh, the reflector. Got the chrome grill. That is sweet. Yeah, I love it. Um, I think it's got the S on the steering wheel for Suzuki. I don't see any cluster detail, but maybe I don't think there is, but who knows. Yeah, I like those rims a lot. Those are probably not stock uh, rims, but uh, you know, original accessories for a Suzuki, probably. Last Suzuki, uh, sorry, that was the last Suzuki. This is an Isuzu, the D Max 2016 orange red right hand drive. I think there's a silver version of this too, which is also nice. But you know, I like to get some color in my display cabinet, even though uh, my cars are not back in the display cabinet yet. Uh, so these will go back into the boxes after this video. Uh, we got a little bit of a kind of a bumper protector for the front there and some uh, other tires that's basically it I thought that these would have come with more uh, accessories oh look there's a, um, a spare tire underneath with a proper rubber tire and a steel uh, wheel steel rim I mean whereas the vehicle has the, uh, the alloys alloy wheels but that's what the um, spare tire would be obviously uh, exhaust detail is not very impressive, it's just a piece, piece of plastic that sticks out. Um, yeah, shouldn't have bothered. Uh, no suspension, oh yeah, not in the front but a little bit of suspension in the rear but it's hardly noticeable. Mm, chrome bumper in the rear, that's nice. Big lens taillights with the little details in there. Does this fall down? I think it does. Oh, that works like a charm. They are really good with their opening parts, I have to tell you. It doesn't fall down all the way flat, but that's okay. Uh, old metal bed on this one. And the badges seem to be some kind of a photo etched part. See, they stick out, they are not Tampoed or printed, they are some kind of a photo edged part. So it says D Max on this side. And then what does it say here? Oh, sorry, I'm out of focus and out of screen. Um, maybe on a big screen we will be able to read that. Uh, but can't tell you right now what it says. But that's a nice uh, detail also. We've got the separate roof rail pieces and the antenna. Running boards, and again we got chrome for the grill. Nice. Uh, this might have a separate hood or bonnet, also. Yeah, so there's probably different versions because it doesn't seem to open. It does have the opening doors. Here you can see there's a little bit of a color difference between the reds, uh, well, orange red. And we got uh, no tempo on the inside. Uh, it's a bit of a vehicle, so probably, possibly only get the, those details on the, uh... oh, wait a minute, I see something. We've got silver on the door cards. Oh, look at that. I take back what I said. Uh, is there a detail on the uh, center console there? Let's look at this side. 
Or is that just a reflection? I don't know. I think there's some detail on the center and the center stack on the dashboard for the screen and stuff. I think there is. It's kind of dark, kind of hard to see, but I see some uh, details on there. Wow. Again, pretty impressive. The doors you have to kind of be patient with closing because they kind of want to close in the different steps like you would have on a real door that kind of you know and that's i don't know if that's intentional to have them open in like two or three steps or uh, it's just uh, the way the opening parts are done nice weighty piece too uh, yeah, let's put that here with the chrome up front um it rolls but it's not uh, a smooth roller by any means but rolls but I feel when I put it down I feel it doesn't want to really roll away um, let's get to Mitsubishi because I have three spots here left and there's three Mitsubishis here um, here we got the uh, Legnum Super VR4 in red right hand drive um, yeah bummer that the other ones were white and black otherwise i would have gotten uh, all the colors but you know because it's a, a wagon of course and it's my favorite type of vehicle come on get out of there it's kind of hesitant Ooh, lots of stuff in here too accessory wise um, we got different bumpers, we've got different wheels, like, you know, custom wheels with some gold and stuff. This is uh, definitely a dream for our customizers. Um, is that a roof box? Uh, yeah, seems to be a roof box. That's kind of cool. I might get that out to um, take a look at that or put it on there. Comes with the, the roof rack already on there. And other than that, I don't know what that stuff is. I'm not going to, not going to try to figure out either. Uh, that's, uh, I have to put this all together. Sorry, that takes some time, but otherwise we're going to run out of room on the table because there's... Oh, shoot. Something, something fell out of the baggie. I hope it's from this vehicle. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not going to ever going to use it anyway. It might be for something else. <laughs> Jeez, so many parts. Um, yeah, first take a look at the vehicle. Again, exhaust detail looking good. Uh, I think this um, was this a. Um, whew, not a, was this a Galante Europe or was this something bigger or a Sigma? Did we have a Sigma or something like that? I cannot really remember this model. Uh, we definitely did not have a Legnum. Uh, it's a bit tempoed, not uh, photo edged. Uh, nicely done taillights again with all the different uh, lights kind of separated in there hint of a roof rail there's just molded into the body this does not seem to have an opening part and I'm perfectly fine with that very nice rims it's got the turning wheels this these turn very nicely so these are not uh, tightened too much but as you can see there's a huge wheel gap when you turn it uh, so yeah it doesn't look very realistic looks like the wheel has broken off so not the best turning wheel uh, system in the um, I guess industry there's a little gap here because this bumper is replaceable very nicely done headlights lots of detail behind the uh, the lens beautiful um, detail wise maybe on these non opening ones they don't put a lot of tempos in there I don't know I don't see anything, but should look a little bit closer with the light, but it's really not time for that. Okay, I guess it goes on like this. Okay, and it just sits on those roof rails. Look at that. That is pretty cool. 
going to leave it like that and it will probably end up in the display cabinet like that one day then we got the Mitsubishi Pajero Mark 1 in matte ivory it says with black top but as you can see it is not, it does not have a black top um, yeah I thought this was the, the best a color for this the ivory one that is such a, a great kind of a sand color for these vehicles uh, they often are like that in real life yeah definitely definitely, definitely very appropriate I'm going to have to drink something sorry okay, let you look at the packaging We're already an hour in, and um, yeah, there's still a lot of uh, stuff to show. Uh, some uh, other wheels, yeah, and then I just <laughs> drop them out. Never mind. Leave them here. Mm, it's got some kind of a roof tent thingy on there with the LED in the front, and then uh, yeah, it's a kind of a roof tent. Which is cool, obviously, but you know. Yeah, again, exhaust detail shouldn't have bothered. Uh, only suspension in the back, not in the front. Cool rims, very small and big rubber around it, like they were back then. Same spare tire in the back. Pretty small lens tail lights with some color uh, difference in there. Two big uh, defroster lines. It's got uh, some kind of a name on the side there. Montero LS. Is that what it says? So this was called a Montero in other markets, I guess. But we definitely had the Pajero in Europe. Maybe not this generation. I'm not sure, but I don't see these. But maybe they are. They were all rusted out. Bumper is a little bit lifted upwards, but I don't know if it comes off to replace it with another bumper in the accessories. Nice chrome in the front. And again, we get uh, the gauges and the cluster done. That seems to be all, but it's good enough. Sweet. And then the last Mitsubishi. Uh, so there was only a white and a black version of this 2003, 2003 Pajero. Um, but I wanted this model. So uh, yeah, it's kind of choosing between the plague and cholera for me. Uh, I just chose the cheapest one. Uh, this one was one euro cheaper than the white one. So that was uh, an easy choice. Uh, if I want to have the model, but I don't like uh, the uh, the hues it comes in, I just uh, choose uh, the cheapest if there is a price difference, obviously. Um, should there have been some wheels in here? I don't know, but there's nothing in there. I don't care. doesn't matter for me. black exhaust on this one so that they didn't even bother to paint it uh, silver but they're kind of going for the ghost look on this one the black steelies this had the door open in the packaging this one opens very easily unlike some of the other ones um, yeah of course the big lensed tail lights Completely covered spare wheel with a little bit of damage on the back there. Look at that. Uh, we have not seen a lot of issues on these, but this one definitely has some uh, some damage. Um, and the Pajero is not completely printed there. It has that little mirror to see you know, what's right behind the vehicle. Uh, I guess uh, reversing cameras were not that common. 2003 little step here in the back running boards too 
nice weighty piece, no sunroof. Again, nicely detailed headlights beneath the lens, under, underneath the lenses. Yeah, don't see a lot of details on the interior on this. Let's put this one like that. Then let's get to a Toyota. This is the one with my f least favorite wheels on it. Maybe they are hubcaps, I'm not sure. Um, some uh, very chromey custom wheels that come with it. Oh, maybe I should have shown you the box. So this is the 1988 Toyota Starlet Turbo SEP71 in green right hand drive. Double exhaust on this one. Looking cool. So yeah, those uh, wheels are not very impressive. Um, so this might may be one I would consider putting the other ones on. Uh, I don't mind the white, but they're just there's not a lot of detail on them. So we got the turning wheels. It says intercooler turbo on the side, nice green color, metallic or metal flake. Again, liking the uh, the rear end here. It seems to have a little uh, turbo spoiler on there, and one here on top too. Sweet, and it has uh, the multicolor interior, even on the door cards. Look at that. That is sweet. Uh, it's got a completely lensed front end there. I mean, between the headlights also. I guess that was only for the turbo. And a little hood scoop, bonnet scoop. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Mm, let's put this one in the front here. Uh, Toyota, continuing. Corolla E70 in beige, right hand drive. Again, very period correct color. That beige, there was no question about which color I would get for this one. Uh, I think there was a black one too, and maybe uh, red or something, I can't remember, but definitely had to have this in beige so fitting comes with another bumper and uh, custom wheels i know these cars deserve a more detailed uh, video but you know there's not going to be a lot of people watching this and i don't want to spend uh, uh, too much time on the on a video that's not going to get too many views got the uh, big lens tail lights tempoed badges again we got the turning wheels i like these fender mirrors for lens lights in the front yeah this is really cool looking like the beige interior fits very well with the outside and these uh stock steelies wonderful then we got the 1996 toyota corolla ae 100 in blue This one gets uh, different bumpers too, even with different uh, headlights. Um, yeah, interestingly. And a uh, different uh, yeah, rear bumper, it seems, something like that. And different wheels. 
custom again, but I prefer the uh, the stock ones. Yes, I'm boring. I know, and I'm proud of it. Nice exhaust sticking out of the back. Ooh, get a complete lead lens piece in the back also. Sweet. Again, no opening parts on this. I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, these seem to be alloy rims. That's cool. They turn. Yeah, this is awesome. I remember seeing these on the roads here. This does have some uh, detail in the instrument cluster. I notice stick shift. Cool. Beautifully mundane these are, and I like it. 2015 Toyota Hi Ace KDH 200V in dark navy, right hand drive. So I chose the right hand drive ones if I could, but you know, if they're not, it doesn't bother me that much. Um, I'm sure they could make these a lot cheaper if they only gave one option for the steering, uh, ditch the opening parts, and um, you know, simplify things a little bit. But you know, they do what they want to do. Got a whole body kit with this one, and on top of that, we get uh, wheels and some. Uh, stickers so yeah a lot of stuff with this extra stuff i mean um i got this by to uh, kyosho i uh, got two of those and uh, also in blue dark blue and uh, so yeah i kind of wanted to uh, get this one in blue also to match the uh, the kyosho ones uh, Kyosho, the Kyosho ones are the, basically the same model, but one has also a bunch of accessories on it. So um, Kyosho does it differently. Uh, BM Creations decides to just do one model and then give the accessories to you. Uh, maybe they would be cheaper to buy if they just made a st stock version and then made in a totally accessorized out version in a different box that they could sell for a little bit more maybe that would make these basic ones more obtainable for someone like me who has a budget um i'm just um, you know suggesting some uh, ideas here but lo logistically of course it would be uh, much more difficult um so yeah i think this uh, has the opening lift gate Let's see if we can manage to get that open because that seems very snug and there's nothing to kind of hold on to. There you go. So this lip can be used to open it up. Um, so it only has a second row of seats and then uh, the third row is not there. So you get a little bit more uh, luggage space. It's even got the door card on the, on the lift gate. That's a nice detail. Click. That's a nice makes a nice sound. Too thick, uh, the frosted lines on this. Uh, but other than that, nicely detailed. The wheels are almost too big to turn in the, in the wheel wells. They kind of get hung up on the, the corner here. Some chrome also in the front. Yeah, nice. Put this one here in the corner. And then we've got the FJ Cruiser by Toyota, the white with sticker, left hand drive accessory pack. Um, they had a bunch of these and all kinds of nice colors, you know, blue with a white roof, you know, some of those you will also have uh, seen done by um, um, Matchbox in the moving parts, you know, the silver one and the, uh, the blue one. Um, I chose this one because of the, uh, the TR delivery. Toyota Racing Division. Uh, interestingly, the accessory pack is underneath the 
the blister where the, uh, the vehicle is in. So you kind of have to slide that out separately. Uh, let's see if we can look at this without some crazy shenanigans going on. Um, yeah, some bumper guards, different rims, so you have to change out the tires. The tires sit in the other box and then some side skirts it seems. Yeah, crazy stuff. That's for uh, advanced uh, customizers, definitely not something for me. And here we got a roof rack and the, uh, the tires needed. So I can just put on the roof rack. Hey, there's a sticker afloat in here. Just put on the roof rack just for just to show you. I don't know how that goes on. Is it like this? It's kind of crooked. Or is it like this? And both ways the this this is floating, so it's not working very well. Anyway. So where does this come from? Okay. Sits in there. Sits in there just like that. Uh, we've got a uh, broken off exhaust because uh, I think it should have continued from here and then all the way to the back so that's a bummer that's uh, definitely a defect but it's only the second real uh, defect we see here uh, suspend oh look at that it does have suspension in the front so all the ones I said did not have suspension there's this bar here that you can press in so this definitely has suspension in the front. I don't think the other did. You know, like this one. Does it have that bar too? Oh yeah, sorry. They do have suspension. They don't have the, the, the arm thing, but they have this little centerpiece that... Okay, so I uh, misinformed you on that. My apologies. So yeah, this does have a lot of uh, suspension travel. That is cool. Uh, nicely done lens tail light again the lights cover for the spare wheel you get four lens lights in the front the indicators are separate from the headlights this is also a left hand drive i think that this only came in left hand drive there was no choice for right hand drive And you know the the surroundings of the window look pretty good. Yeah, this is awesome. Let's get to Mitsubishi with the the Lancer EX2000 Turbo in red right-hand drive. Here we got uh, it's a vintage series again, so we got some advertising on there. Own the fastest Colt in the world. There was also a yellow one that was very tempting, but uh, uh, I chose the red one. Red Mitsubishi Lancer is just so uh, so fitting. Custom wheels and some uh, other parts, which I'm not sure what they are. Got the exhaust sticking out of the back. Little plastic black spoiler. A very thick Lancer nameplate. It's not looking very uh, size correct. The lights are nice though. Uh, we got uh, two tone interior again. Look at that. Ah, that's awesome. I uh, love the rims, they are very nice. Got the steerable wheels again. Again. Yeah, like that. Again, that big blob of a nameplate in front. Headlights done nicely again. They do very well on the lens lights. And on the interiors, I have to say. Awesome. Um, let's see. Two, four, five. Well. Okay, trying to fit everything on here, you know. 
1988 Mitsubishi Lancer, Mitsubishi Lancer in silver, right-hand drive. I need to drink something again. So this is the basic first version, and I think you can turn it into a GTI with the accessories that it comes with. So this might be one that I would be tempted to get uh, another one and uh, possibly another color. Although, although I think there was not a lot of choice and uh, get one completely decked out as a GTI. Mm, let's see, so a lot of accessories. So yeah, different bumpers, spoilers, GTI rims, which uh, look very nice. Uh, and all the stuff to turn it into a GTI. That is sweet. I like that a lot. But I like the stock version very much also. Exhaust done all the way to the back. Sticking out of there. A um, lens piece that is... Um, across the back, like the real one was. This nameplate is a little bit more uh, size appropriate, it seems. I love these. Uh, I think these are hubcaps, right? These are not uh, alloy wheels, wheels or something like that. So They fill the wheel well very well, I must say. The turn, of course. Um, this uh, nameplate is a little bit loose, a little bit crooked, but it's not that bad. The headlights are one piece, so the uh, indicators are in, included in the headlight piece. Yeah. Again, a beautifully mundane looking vehicle. Love it. That is awesome. Then we've got the uh, Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 4 in red, right-hand drive. So uh, I hope they're going to do all of the uh, Evos. And hopefully I will be able to obtain them. Just gets white alloy rims in there as an accessory. Double exhaust sticking out of the back. Nice. Uh, yeah, tail lights again. Very nicely done. It's got a uh, spoiler on top of there, which is probably plastic, but it feels very solid. Cool rims, Evo 4 on the rear door. Authentic looking mirrors because it's non opening. Two tone interior again, the red center part of the seats. That's sweet. Got uh, four lens lights in the front for the big uh, beams in the bumper there. And a little bit air intake. For several air intakes in the, the hood or bonnet. Of course, wheels turn. Sweet. Then we got the Evo 10 in blue, right hand drive. Um, I'm not sure, was the 10 the last one, or uh, I know they are discontinued to the Evo, but I'm not sure if the, this was the last one. Again, white rims as an, alter as an alternative. Double exhaust. Um, or two singular exhausts on each side of the back, I should say. Got those clear tail lights again, very nicely detailed. 
A little spoiler, of course, the antenna, cool looking rims, authentic. It's got the, uh, the nameplate on one side of the vehicle. Again, looking a little bit huge for the size of the vehicle. I think this is the um, I think this is the 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 Lancer generation that uh, Fax has. My buddy Fax Fax that on YouTube has a Lancer a red one. Uh, unfortunately, this was not available in red. Otherwise, I would have gotten red, obviously. Um, and um, yeah, I think this is the generation he has. Cool. I'm not going to be able to put all the lenses together. That's not good. So I'm going to have to rearrange that because the front parking lot is full. And we also have the 567, the Evo 7 in blue, right-hand drive. Uh, strangely, this comes in an acrylic case. I've got two with an acrylic case and all the other ones have the, uh, the soft blister type window box. I don't know why that is. Um, so unlike Shuko, they have uh, different styles of packaging. Um, so an all clear case. It's got, uh, again, white rims in there. So put that in there. And there's a baggie falling out. Oh, you can... Uh, can use this to screw the car on the base without the accessory pack. So, so that means oh, that this screwed on there. Well, why do you get another one then? Um, I'm probably not smart enough to figure that out. Okay, put this to the side. There you go. Mm-hmm. Big thick exhaust on one side sticking out of the back. Again, those tail lights are very nice. The spoiler, it's got the wiper on the rear and the very thick defroster lines. Nice rims again, turnable wheels. Again, big nameplate on the bumper. Some hint of orange for the indicator in the headlights, which are, of course, again, nicely detailed. Awesome. And then we get to Subaru. So this is the Legacy Touring Wagon GTB in blue, right-hand drive. So. I got all of the colors of uh, this wagon. There wasn't any white or black for this. Luckily, it's probably my favorite. We get a different bumper. Uh, we get a roof box also. Yeah, and we get gold. Uh, rims, so not going to bother with the roof box. We saw that on the uh, Mitsubishi. Uh, I'm going to waste time on that. Uh, yeah, maybe I should not put the car away in the blister and just keep it on the table. What do you think about that? Yeah. After almost an hour and a half, one gets uh, a little bit tired, I guess. And I'm talking in a language that is foreign to me. It's also exhausting. Big exhaust in the back look at that it's got legacy on the lens piece look at that oh, beautiful. loving the color too it pops it really does nice rims those gray rims i love those of course got the turning wheels headlights they do look a little bit different than i can remember them so maybe these are not uh, their best work, these headlights. Or maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. 
little bit crooked uh, nameplate again, but again, that's uh, not that bad. Uh, yeah, a blue station wagon, I think it is safe to say, and uh, some of you will ha have already guessed, that this is my favorite of the bunch. Hands down. Yep. I'm going to put it like that. I don't like the headlights that much. Uh, same thing in silver. Um, you know what? We've looked at the blue one. I'm not going to open this. The video is already very long. There you can see it. It's silver. And also comes in orange. There you go. Same rims and stuff. Here we got the 2009 Subaru Impreza WRX in blue. The uh, hatchback's version. So Hot Wheels does the hatchback, but other than that, there's not a lot of brands that do the hatchback. So that is uh, definitely cool of them to do that to do so. Got the gold rims, uh, of course, on a uh, WRX. The gold rims are always nice, but uh, I'll just stick with the stock ones. Ooh, look at that, four exhausts on this thing, uh, but they are black sticking out of the back and not silver. Okay, a little bit disappointed. Clear taillights, big STI on that uh, nameplate, little antenna. It's got the indicator repeaters on the side mirrors. Nicely detailed headlights again. Big hood scoop. Sweet. Here we get the Subaru Impreza WRX Type R 3 to 6 generation Dolphin Grey. So I think with the accessories this comes with, you can uh, cover different generations or something. I don't know how that works. Uh, I don't fully understand how uh, this is uh, set up, but anyway. So you get different bumpers for a different uh, generation, even with the headlights included. Uh, they look very similar, I have to say. So, yeah, I'm not a uh, enough a connoisseur of the model to figure out how that works. Just the muffler and the double exhaust tips in the back. Well, that's fine too. Not seeing it anyway underneath. WRX on the side. Got those tail lights that we know from the Hot Wheels version. Uh, huge spoiler or wing, I probably should say. The frost line's too big again, but you know. Very tiny mirrors. This one has the gold rims as standard. Um, Lens headlights and then the uh, lights in the bumper are all painted. Which coupe? And then another acrylic case one. 2001 Subaru Impreza WRX STI in blue, right hand drive. The Frog Eye one. I have a premium version of the Frog Eye. I can't remember by which uh, manufacturer. Shaky, shaky. Come on out. We've got white rims included in there and a, uh, some kind of a base thingy again. Cutting it loose. I'm 
and there you go adjust the muffler and the exhaust tips that's fine yeah they do a great job on those lens lights I like those a lot a smaller spoiler on this We've got the wiper too and the excessive frost lines nice gold rims these wheels turn a little bit more easy than some of the others Again, nice clear headlights with all the details behind the lenses. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Well, we got everything on the parking lot and there's even some, uh, some room left. So let's put these two on there so we can have uh, all the spaces filled up. Let's get you guys off the uh, tripod and so we can get a, uh, a last look at the parking lot. Some uh, Toyota, some here's some wheels that fell off the uh, Pajero, some Mitsubishi, some more Toyota, we got uh, some Suzuki, Isuzu, some more Mitsubishi. We got Suzuki, Land Rover, Range Rover, Porsche, Volkswagen, Mercedes. And then we get the uh, Subis, some V dubs, some more Subis, and a Mitsu, and a Mercedes rig. In a Porsche livery. Imagine that. And here you got an overview of the whole full parking lot. Yeah, don't think there's been uh, that many cars on this before, or at least I don't remember. Thanks for watching.